Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to properly add a vignette to your image. And you may be wondering, why would you want to add a vignette to an image? That's just a sign of a cheap lens. Well, quite often when you're finished processing an image, you may end up with an image something like this, where the edges are a little bit brighter than where the action is. In this case, it happens to be right in the middle. And when a person looks at an image, their eyes will tend to go to the brightest parts of the image. So in their viewing experience, if they're looking at your image, if their gaze is distracted from the subject to a brighter area, their viewing experience won't be as enjoyable for them. And they will come to the conclusion that your image isn't as good as it could be. So what you would like to do is darken those edges and that will tend to force everyone's gaze more towards the subject of the photo. And that will offer a better viewing experience and ultimately they'll think your image looks better. Now, most often you like to do this with a darker vignette and you could just come into the slider here and you could just kind of move it to left and add a vignette and you could call it a day. Well, the best vignettes are those that really aren't consciously noticeable. They're just subconsciously um, noticeable to the person, meaning when they look, they're not necessarily knowing that you added a vignette to the image. For some reason though, their eyes just keep falling on the subject that is being vignetted. So what you could do is you could take this amount slider, move it to the left, and then you could use these other sliders to help make your vignette less consciously noticeable. And you could just come in here and willy-nilly move them around. But a little tip I could offer you is when you move the midpoint roundness, feather, or highlights sliders, hold in the Alt or Option key. Alt if you have a PC, Option if you have a Mac. And when you do that, it will temporarily give you a full amount setting so that you could better kind of gauge what you're doing with these sliders and you would be better able then to uh, apply these sliders to in, you know, achieve that goal of making this vignette not consciously noticeable. So you could come in. And just when you hold in, again, hold in that alter option key. It will just give you a view of what you're doing. In this case, highlights doesn't do anything on this image. And this works for any of the styles. By default, it's going to do highlight priority. And that's probably the vignette you're going to want to use for 90% of your images. But if you're finding that you just can't nail the vignette, try one of the other two. There's color priority. And then there's paint um, overlay. So try those as well and see which one might work best for you. Now in this case, I added a vignette. There's before and there's after. And I would say that that is probably a little bit consciously noticeable, so I should work on it a little bit. But you get the idea of the reason why you would want to apply a vignette to your image, why a vignette that isn't consciously noticeable is the best type of vignette and then how you could go about using these sliders to get that uh, that type of vignette we're talking about thank you everyone who watches my videos i really do appreciate it i'll talk to you guys soon <laughs>